Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn a component which is uh, common across all or I would say every single application which is buttons, right? So you'll find buttons uh, that are used in static websites, in dynamic websites, uh, they are the call to action buttons, right? So which means they drive the user engagement and actions. So let's get started. Let's learn how to use bootstrap buttons in this particular episode. This is part 13 of the bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Alright, so today is the 13th uh, episode where we are learning about the bootstrap buttons. So buttons, um, bootstrap provides uh, multiple utility classes for buttons. Right? The most basic and simple one being BTN, which tells that it's a button. And then there are different um, classes of classification in terms of colors. Like you can use BTN hyphen primary, hyphen secondary, info, warning. So those, those are all the standard ones. We can also use the buttons for outlining, right? So we can say BTN hyphen outline hyphen primary, or we can, we can say BTN hyphen outline hyphen secondary. For sizes also we can customize it and say BTN hyphen size, SM means small, MD, LG means large, etc. There can be various states of uh, buttons that we want to control like active, disabled, so we, we can add that as well. So let's see how to use that. Alright, so I'm going to pick up um, an existing template that we did in the earlier episodes in that part of the live project this is what we are done so I'm going to use the same here and we'll go and add some buttons here so let's learn how to do that so we are going to give class equal to btn and say add new record right now see so this comes as a button right but it's disabled so what we are going to do here Okay, uh, something. Okay, all right. Uh, I think we jumped. Just one second. I think I jumped. Okay, so it got deleted by mistake. Okay, so here I'm saying button primary. Okay. So now you see there's a blue button which says add new, right? So now, uh, or let's say add new contact. Okay, so that's how it is. Now this is BTN primary, so I can also make it BTN secondary. So it becomes gray. Similarly, you can say warning. So this becomes um, yellowish color, right? So what I want is I want some space between these two. So I'm going to say padding or else a margin bottom should be right? just so that there is a gap, right? All right, so we can also use it something like we can use heading here and send the button here, right? So for that, what we'll do, we'll, we'll probably fix up that in the next one. So, all right, so let me show you, uh, let's make it primary. Okay, so now we got a blue action button and we can use something called outline, right? So see, when you say outline, only the border is highlighted and the text color, right? So this is yet another um, utility class that we can use for our designing. Similarly, there can be a disabled state, right? So now see, this is disabled. You cannot click on it. So if you have a form which you want to fill out and do some validation and make sure that user um, is complying to that form, then you can use this and just disable the form as long as it is not um, valid, right? So similarly, you can say enabled by default all buttons are enabled so you don't have to mention it okay so these are some of the use cases of buttons that you can try it out in your application uh, build along so we'll keep com complete this particular application and make it look like an admin panel altogether all right thank you so much that was a really quick uh, tutorial today in the next episode i'll show you bootstrap button group and then we will start doing some live project and template designing thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode